With only 10 days to go until early voting sites open up, state elections officials have a lot of changes, may, say a lot of changes may be necessary so that people who are impacted by the storm can still cast their ballots. A bipartisan vote today could make that a little easier. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland is live in Raleigh. And Michael, this is going to be a major challenge for many communities because we're getting closer and closer. Right. Yeah, the extensive damage from this storm has made it difficult or impossible for some people to get to their normal voting places. So today, election officials are unanimously giving counties a lot more flexibility here to try to ensure that everybody can cast a ballot. After Helene brought catastrophic damage to Western North Carolina, the election will still go on. Our struggles are not over. State election officials on Monday in a bipartisan unanimous vote gave these 13 hardest hit counties more flexibility to adapt their plans for the election. We are committed to ensuring that we open early voting uh, on the 17th in all 100 counties, including these affected counties. State officials say they're still unsure how many voting sites are damaged. The affected counties will be able to change locations of voting sites as long as that decision is made by a bipartisan majority of the county elections board. We're guaranteeing that any of these changes are um, uh, delivered through consensus at the Board of Elections. The state also can bring in trailers and other equipment to conduct voting at a site if a building is damaged. There's flexibility to use poll workers from other counties and for people to vote by mail if they're displaced from their homes. They can hand deliver their ballot to the election office in the county where they are temporarily until they can go back home. Stacey Eggers IV, a Republican on the board, said whether it takes horses or helicopters, the state needs to ensure people can get their ballots. Ultimately, the goal is going to be to maintain things as close as possible to how we normally run elections. Election officials also pushed back on rumors on social media and accusations that decisions about responding to the storm are being made in a partisan manner. What a disgrace for anyone to try to provide misinformation or disinformation affecting their ability to vote. More than 40,000 mail-in ballots have been sent to voters in the affected counties. It's unclear how many of those might have been lost or damaged, but the state does use a website called Ballot Tracks that allows a voter to track their ballot as it moves through the mail system. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you. Yeah.